Hey guys, welcome back to Stitchy Reese Pieces. I'm so glad that you are here. My name is Erica and I'm here to show you all things stitchy. Most things are um, cross stitch, but I do have a couple other things. And as I was starting to film, I saw that my sweet little pup Lucy was sitting over there and she was just so cute that I was like, well, I guess I'll leave her in the in this screen so you get to see the little sleeping pup. <laughs> We'll have a little guest on our episode today. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, I have a lot to show you. It's been a few weeks and well, I've done it again. I've really done it this time. I have multiple new starts, multiple purchases. I've really done it, <laughs> but I've been having fun. So, you know, um, first thing I'll show you is I've been looking at my kids clothing and trying to figure out what they're going to need this fall so I have been sewing a few like sweaters and things for them and then I made this little raglan shirt for my son which I just thought was pretty cute he picked out the applique that he wanted which says napricot <laughs> he thought it was so funny so I made a little sewed up a little shirt for him with a little embroidery on it and he's loving that so yes I will be doing more sewing now for fall and winter clothing and I have a sweater for myself that I have cut and waiting to be sewn and I'll work on that soon so that was a sewing that I did that I have to show you the others has been put away um I also thought I would come on and show you just real fast <coughs> excuse the <coughs> coughing we had rain finally after weeks and something in it has spiked my allergies um but I thought I'd just do a little quick peek at the bags that I have in my shop. Some of these I've had in um, before and I think there's a couple that are fairly fairly new but um, it's been a while since I showed you so if you're in the market for a project bag take a look. If not fast forward um, but I have I'm just going to show them real fast what, what designs I have. I have two different styles well actually <coughs> three different styles so I have this is called the deluxe bag and it has, I should have brought water up, I'm going to cough. It has like a big pocket on the front, on the top. And then there's like a half, goes about to here, deep, um, on the front. So it's like a double, double pocket bag. And so these deluxe bags have the two zippers. And then they have like a faux vinyl or, I mean, faux leather, like, or vinyl, different um, weight material, not just cotton on them. And they're, they are pretty sturdy so there this is the deluxe bag and then I have just like your regular classic kind of clear um, clear vinyl front bag and I also have that same kind of style but large and these are what I use the most I love these because they fit full coverage this is like 14 by 14 I think or approximately they fit full coverage and a ton of floss like you can really pack these so there's like the large size, let's see, and then the regular size. So if you're in the market, there's the Santa in the deluxe, that cute one. This is a fun summer lobster print. I feel like this is good for like samplers. I don't know, I like that kind of pattern with the brown on the back. This pattern also is in the deluxe style. We have like classic kind of Christmas plaid and this has shimmery gold in it. I just I'm just gonna fly quickly through because I know most of you probably are not interested but <laughs> that fabric was so cute. I just have so much fun pairing up the fabrics with the like faux leathers. This one kind of has a texture to it and I think that's so pretty with the cranes. Pretty um, floral chickens. We have chickens. They're so funny to watch. I like this kind of Hot air balloon theme. Just a few more. Here's a great sewing theme one. I love this pattern. Love that so much. This is another, this is a newer one with the seagulls and brown on the back. This one I also really love. Some of these never make it to the shop because I end up having to take them. And then since fall's coming up, that's just a cute like tossed pumpkin kind of one. So if you're in the market for the bag, I'll leave a link to my shop below. And from there, let's move on to whips and new starts <laughs> and new projects. All right, here we go. 
let's go we'll start with an oldie not super old this is from like november of last year i think i bought it on as like a black friday sale so it's not one of my super old ones but it's not a new one uh this is from spooky and steve on etsy it is what's it called i don't know milk and cookie company i'm assuming and i just think it's so cute i had it in my cart for a long time finally bought it last year and i started on which side am i on this side over here uh and kind of just went up and now i'm i've got this guy and i kind of worked in here a little bit so this is just on a <coughs> cheap 18 count fabric from like michael's or something at least i think it's I think it's 18 count, maybe it's 16 count. I don't know. Just the basic white. But it's fun. It's got just a black, a green, and a red. And I think I think the green I did not have, so I used a different different one. That just like a DMC that I have. But I just think it's cute and I will make a cute sign at Christmas time. So I worked on that one a little bit. I just had a little hankering <laughs> to do that one. Uh, let's see, these ones are new. We gotta move those aside. This one I've had for a while. It is Country Kitchen. <coughs> Sorry. By Soda Stitch. And it's got three parts. I'm kind of wishing now that I had done them all together on one like this, but I did not. I had them separated into three. So this one is already complete. I've shown you before, but I'll do it. I'll show you real fast. So that one's complete, and I've been working on this one. And I am. I kind of worked over here. I. So we're finishing this vase and this pumpkin and a few like fill in stitches over here. So I'm probably about halfway with that one. However, the heaviest stitching is at the bottom. So I'm really not halfway with that one. But uh, so here's that middle portion that is completed already. Just because it's fun to see what's done. Sorry, I haven't ironed it yet because it's still just in the bag. So that's that middle one. And the one that I worked on this time, floss is flying everywhere. Flying floss. Uh, this is the one I worked on this time. I just love Soda Stitch for their bright like colors and their, they have like chunky stitch, you know, blocky, blocks of color. So it's just kind of easy. Um, so yeah, I worked and filled in all, some of that stuff. So that's fun. Look at your sweet being cute puppy. She's so sweet. Lucy! Lucy! Are you a good girl? Oh. Okay. So. That was an older one. An older whip for sure. <laughs> and I worked on that one a little bit. Let's see what's next. This one I bought this summer. And I just showed you recently because I've been working on it for the last like month or so by Crochetta Go Go. It's like 4th of July in the city. Um, if you've seen my like whip parades or anything else, you know that I have the fall one, the spring one, and now I got this uh, 4th of July one. I just love the colors in there. And again, she kind of has the like blocky color. So it's just like an easy stitch when you don't really have a lot to, you brain a lot of brain power. Um, so I worked on the top. <coughs> she was being cute. Now she's not. Let's hope she doesn't keep that up or I'll have to pause the video. Uh, so I worked the top. There's like just I think maybe one. I think one more building. Maybe two and a tree. I think just one more building. So I'm almost done with the top. And then I worked just a little bit on the house I believe. Maybe I, maybe that, maybe I showed you that part already. But um. I just think it's so cute. Now, the only problem I had, and I've told you before, was I tried to dye this fabric, but it didn't work. So it's still pretty white, and the white is kind of hard to see. But I swapped for B52, and you can see it a little bit better. and It's good enough for me. Again, I just, it's such a cute pattern. This is 14 count Ada, so it's pretty big. I mean, her pattern's pretty big anyways, but then, you know, I did it on 14 count, so it is decent size project. Let's see, that one, I don't think I did actually do anything on there. This one I pulled out just for a short time before before I got into buying, working on new things. Um, 
Love this one though. Christmas Eve by Luca S. So pretty. Just so pretty. This was the first Luca S kit I bought and fell in love with. So, um, I had a page done already in the middle, somewhere around here. And I think I'm working this way. I didn't get it, I didn't do a ton, but it did fill in some of that snowy roof. I'm not gonna take it out of the hoop because I was still working on it, but um. I did some fill in on the roof there. So it's just such a pretty pattern. And I love this. It comes with like Zweigart, I think Zweigart Ada. And it's just so it's like soft and just the needle just, I don't know, glides in and out so easily on this one. I don't know. I, I really like it. The only thing that kind of slows me down on this one is a lot of my full coverage I do with the pattern keeper. And so I can just mark it easily. This one, um, it's paper and it's black and white so I have like when I get into like especially where was it it's blocked off but like especially where there's tree or like some of this where it's more um, confetti I just have a harder time like it slows me down a lot trying to find the little stitches on the black and white pattern so I do I'm a little slow on this one because of that but that rooftop had less confetti so I kind of just focused on that area next one oh yes this one this is a good one I worked only I think only a little bit more since I showed you last time and you might probably can't even tell a difference but maybe you didn't even see it last time and it's just fun to see the project so whatever I'll show you a treasure time by gold collection dimensions I mean this is a popular pattern lots of people have seen it lots of people have stitched it I started in the bottom corner, went this way. I think I did some back stitching in here, and I worked a bit in there. There's a thread hanging off. And yeah, just they're just so pretty, and they just pop when you start adding the back stitch to it. So, I really was having a dimensions moment um, this summer, and I stitched quite a bit on dimensions for a while. If you've been around, you know I kind of like stitch one night, and even one night I might do like two or three different projects. So I don't really stick with one thing for long, but I, I've been sticking with dimensions and like doing one kit for a week or so, and this new pattern I did for like a whole week. So that's pretty good for me. Anyways, moving on. Just did a very small amount on this one also, but again... I love the pattern so much. Love the colors. You hear me say the same thing over and over. It's another Luca S. Same thing. The needle just like glides so smoothly through this fabric. Um, love the patterns, but it's there's only there's a lot of like very splotchy colors. So it's summer birds, I believe. But there are so many color changes. So like if you can see within that bird, I mean there's I don't know like ten different colors and there's like six seven different blues. So you'll do like five stitches and they have to change. So it's not like, it's not like just confetti, but it's major like con color changes and it will be a far enough distance that you can't, I usually cross country, but there, it's so far, there'll be like a color here and then way down here. So I have to like do five stitches, cut my thread. So it, it slows me down, but it's so pretty and I just love, love love the colors. Let me show you the colors. Don't judge the messiness on these cards, but um, just, ooh, I just love the colors on there. They're really messy, but just so pretty. So I love the colors. Again, the pattern, I just am slow stitching on this one. But I think last time I showed you I had worked on some of this. And then I filled in a little bit more green. A couple like sparse random colors where it was like one stitch I did. And then I've started. There's a top of the blue bird's head right there. So pretty. I'm I really I'm going to love it when it's done. And I, I do like working on it. But I have to be in the right mood because it is so much of just like a couple colors here and there. Okay. What's next? That's a new one. That's a new one. That's a new one. <laughs> okay, I think, um, we're just on to new ones. Okay, so, let's see. Let me grab something really fast. 
Okay, we'll start with this. So, I showed you on, like, one of my last episodes that I had bought this needlepoint kit off eBay. Well, it didn't have all the colors. It, you, I don't even think it had, like, half. But I, I was like, I'll try needlepoint. That sounds fun. And I just really love this picture. Okay, well, I can't do this because it doesn't come with half the stuff. And I don't even know how to do needlepoint to even begin to, like, try to substitute anything. So, I just went looking for this picture, which is... Peaceful Harbor by Jane Wooster Scott. And I found that Heaven and Earth Designs has that pattern, and it's a mini. So I went, and they were having a sale, and I bought the cross-stitch pattern. I really like the blues in the ocean, and I just, I don't know, I just like that scene. So I bought this pattern, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm ready to just begin and start it. So, where is it? Okay. <laughs> I literally have it in this, like, random bag because I don't have a beautiful bag made for it. I just wanted to start it. I was using random fabric that I had. I don't even have all thread colors. So, on my last video I showed you, I'm doing, um, I have a file box now with, like, a hanging, I should have brought it up, but, like, hanging thread organizer. And I'm missing like 200 colors. I thought I would have most of the colors. Turns out I'm missing like 200. But that's my new way of doing anything that's not already kitted up. Is I'm just going to have a master set and go from there. And it's been working well on these new projects. <laughs> However, I'm missing colors. So I'm having to like just stop and you know try to find a color I have and move on to a different spot. But this one was missing a few different colors. They are on their way to me. I got CXC thread. So it's coming from, from China. From AliExpress. Um, because 200 colors is a lot. Uh, so hopefully I will have that soon and be able to continue on. But for now, I started this one down in the boring blue. So it's just blue and then I'm missing like a color. Now, this fabric I started it on is, I believe, 32 count, easy grid. And I started a project before on this and I tossed it aside because it was way too small and annoying. But that project that I did, was going to do, was huge. And so this one is much smaller. Okay, it's much smaller. So I thought, well, I can probably manage it for, you know, a small project. So we're trying. This, sorry, my lighting's like going in and out. Um, I'm doing it one over one. And this is like a Lugana, I think. Easy Grid Lugana or something, I believe. Or, eat, yeah. So, I'm just nervous that I'm going to lose my stitches because I'm doing half cross. I'm doing, am I doing one? One strand, one over one, tent stitch, pretty much. Um, I don't even know if it's going to zoom in on that. But, uh, there's quite a few stitches already, but it doesn't look like it because this is so tiny. So I'm just, I'm nervous I'm going to lose my stitches in there, but so far it's going Okay. But I didn't have all the blues to color in, and so, um, yeah, it doesn't look like very much excitement. But what I'm thankful for is it's a small full coverage. Look, it's not my giant normal full coverage. So maybe one day I'll get done. But I was just glad to find that, that picture. I'm going to lose this needle. Let me move the needle. I was glad to find that picture, that artwork, in an actual cross-stitch pattern. And um, as soon as I get my the rest of the colors and I can keep going but it'll be fun once I get into some of the other uh, parts instead of just down in the ocean there I was trying to figure out like where can I start besides just the middle even the middle I don't know it's like if you start in this corner just blue 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 sky you know <laughs> I like to get to where there's like an image coming out so I just I just need to keep going anyway that was a small start even though that was hundreds of stitches okay that was one. <coughs> Let me start. Let's do... Let's do this one next. Okay. This next one was actually like two new starts. And that's because... Where's the other pattern? Okay. Which, by the way... Okay. That's because I wanted to do Christmas stockings. I decided I would jump on the Christmas stocking bandwagon. And so I've been looking for a long time, and I finally found stockings, and I had my kids pick out which ones they wanted. Um, 
And so, yeah. But I'm annoyed because, I'm going to cover this up, because Amazon shipped it and they just put the shipping label like right on top of the packaging. So the packaging is like the beautiful picture has now the shipping label in the middle of both of them. How annoying. Anyways, I am doing two new Dimensions Kits stockings. They are the ones that my two boys picked out and I mean they fit them perfectly as far as what they chose. So first one is Holy Night Stocking by Gold Collection. This one is for my nine-year-old and he he's just he's an awesome kid. He asks everybody that he knows if they know Jesus and he just he loves God. He loves Jesus. I knew he would choose this one. So pretty. I love the just beautiful lighting and everything. So anyways, I started in the middle, which is like the cow's head. There was a lot of different color changes in there, so that's actually taking me a little bit. This is on 16 count, and I'm finding, unlike those like Luca S kits, my needle does not just glide so smoothly <laughs> through it. Um, partly because it's the, you know, the crunchy Dimensions Ada, which is not my favorite, and it's 16 count, but either way, we're getting there. So I start on the cow's head in the middle. And yesterday I did a little bit of the background, which is like four strands or something. It's a half stitch, but four. But anyways, this cow has like quite a few different colors in it. So I obviously did not get very far in this one, but I have a start. And I am hoping that I will have enough like oomph and I would stop starting all these other projects you're going to see <laughs> to um, get those done for them while they are still like, you know kids and somewhat young not so that they can like remember them as you know their own stocking and not not till they're an adult when I'm like hey look I finally finished that so I'm hoping I can get those done that was one of them the other one I can't show you this well oh. okay I have to pull the picture out because I put my label on here the other one was for my six-year-old and he liked this one this is not a gold, this is just a regular one, so it's actually fairly easy. And I started in the middle, kind of on this snowman guy. I sort of messed up his hat already, but it's good enough. <laughs> I fixed good enough. And I kind of am working up this way. Um, I have more on his done, partially because he was like, Mom, work on mine, work on mine. And he was really excited. My other kid was like, whatever. Um, so I worked more on his, and he was with me while I was doing it. But... that now most of this is just all this teal is a half cross so that was pretty fast but it's pretty cute so I got a decent chunk of his done um, considering that you know I've only had these kits for like two weeks or something and I started <laughs> multiple projects <laughs> okay anyway <coughs> joking myself now this one is kind of fun because I'll, I'll just show you this real fast. So this is a bag that I made to house both. This is at 14 by 14 size. See, it's like plenty of big. This has both dimensions kits in it. So, and I made a little, like, you can't tell because of just how messy my thing is. But I made a divider pocket. So this is actually a fabric pocket sewn in so that one of the projects is in the front. And the other project is in the back. So I actually have both stockings in this one bag. So that's kind of cool. This is a new bag that I made myself specifically for the stockings. And I did buy um, two other patterns. I'm, I won't show them here. Of stockings for my husband and for myself. Um, I haven't started those yet. I will finish these before I start those. I think. <laughs> um, no promises, but... Maybe I'll do a, like, kit parade. I don't have as many kits as a lot of people. I have whips because I start everything that I get, pretty much. So I don't have as many, like, unstarted kits, but I do have some over there. So maybe one day I'll do a, a kit parade of just, like, ones I haven't started and show you the two stockings that I have for my husband and myself. Anyway, moving on. I have <laughs> three more projects that I started. Now, two of them I just kind of barely started. This other one is where most of my time has been. 
So people kept talking about Stitches So Beautiful on Etsy. And I went and I was looking through and then I saw this pattern and I was like, I probably need that pattern. Now, do I really need a new pattern? No, I don't. I'll show you other new patterns I bought too. <laughs> but I just love the colors in this. It's got a similar color palette. I think all these patterns like that I really love the colors have a similar color palette. Color palette. But this is from Stitches So Beautiful. It's called Countryside Christmas, and I couldn't put it down. I only put it down because I was not having the colors needed. I need the colors to show up, to come. But I love that. I just love, I just love it. I love the colors of the sky. And what I think is fun is that there's like something going on all over the place. You know, there's animals, there's a horse and carriage, there's kids, there's a tractor and people sledding in a barn and a house like I just feel like there's a lot to see as you're stitching however so far there's not much to see for me because I started down here and I've just gotten this so pretty much all you see is just like blues and whites however they're colors I like and I was just going to town <coughs> This is on 22 count hardanger because I, again I just wanted to start it and this is what I had the fabric of and it's fairly like big. So 22 count hardanger and I'm doing it two threads over one. Yeah, two over one tent stitch. I guess I can take it out of the hoop. Oops. Not that it'll really show you much more, but um I did thousands of stitches in this in a short amount of time. Uh, so, but still, you know, can't really see the picture yet. However, you can see the shadow of the cow coming along. So let's see. <coughs> Excuse my allergy coughing. Yeah, so I'm hoping, like, to get up here. And there's two, there's like two or three little itty bitty stitches of, like, a dark gray. So I'm assuming that must be like the cow or yeah, must be the cow's hooves starting to come in. So I'm almost, I'm almost there. Uh, but there's a ton of confetti right there where the animals start and I didn't have like half the colors. So I stopped, even though I really want to keep working on that one. I stopped for now. <sighs> really hoping that my, that my uh, new thread order comes in because... I would like to keep stitching on that. It shipped, but of course it's coming from China, so I don't know. It's probably going to be another like two weeks or something before I get it. Maybe only a week. That's a week is a long time. I'll just have to work on one of these other projects. So let me show you the other projects. Maybe, well, <coughs> yeah, maybe I'll show this as like, no I won't. Okay, I'll show you the new project. These two came from the same order, and I will show you more that goes with it also. They came from a place called Cross Stitch Boutique, and they were having a sale. It was like 50% off, and then at one point it was 60% off because they were moving. I think it's back down to 50% off, and they're moving. And I heard of a company called Magic Needle, and I had not heard of this company before, but I went on there. I say, I turned, I googled Magic Needle, and I found this Cross Stitch Boutique, and everything was half off, so I was like, Okay, let's just see. And well, because it was all like 50% off or 60% off, um, my cart got loaded up somehow. Who did that? I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, this pattern came from Magic Needle. This was the one that I was like, ooh, I really like that. And I added it to my cart and that was what I was going for. And then the other ones jumped in my cart and came for the ride somehow. So I'll show you those next. I'll show you this one first. This is new company to me, Magic Needle. It's on the Zweigar Ada. This is 14 count. It's called Singing Robins. And I just I just think it's so pretty. I'm not so I'm not usually a floral person. So I showed you that other one with the bird and the butterfly and the flowers. And um I don't know. Suddenly, I don't know if it's because we're in summer and my garden's all in full swing. Um suddenly I found myself being like I think I, I think I would like to stitch flowers now when before I was like no no interest in stitching flowers so I suddenly have a bunch of floral patterns 
that's okay. I just think it's so pretty. The only thing with floral patterns I am learning is there's a lot more color changes. So I have started somewhere in the middle, it must be right around in here on these like purpley, purple colors. Um, I feel like this is not, I think it's just blurry. Hopefully it's not blurry. Um, anyways, started in those purples, didn't get very far because there's a lot of color changes. Sorry for the crinkle noise. Um, but yeah, that's where I got to. So this came with this like light blue. It kind of looks white on the screen. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a light blue Ada. 14 count. Just using all the stuff that came with it. And working on those flowers. Now, as this is a new, like I said, a new pattern company for me. One of the things I do not like right off the bat, and I'll have to like set up my other ones differently. But um, on the pattern, <coughs> I'll show you. This is their key, and it like, they have the symbol, and then it goes with a number, but then their floss, which I decided to try braiding it, and that's freaking okay, their floss just has this, so there's like, so if I'm stitching along, and I just come to a spot, you know, it's like, gives me the symbol, well then I have to stop, I have to look at the one sheet to tell me what the symbol is, and I have to look at the other part of the sheet to find the symbol that matches the number, and then I have to find the number on the thing, and I feel like that's annoying. So, I probably will go in and try to, like, draw the symbol on here. Maybe I can make a photocopy and tape the symbol on here. Some of them are, like, mixed colors, though, so I don't, I don't love how there's, like, multiple steps just to find the thread, especially when I'm, like, swapping out colors so frequently but anyways that's my only complaint about this otherwise I really like it so if you have any ideas of a good way to solve that problem let me know I'm gonna put this back in here I did just make a project bag for this so while I still sorry while I have it in the crinkly plastic it came in right now um, I will just transfer it in. But this is a cute project bag. So this is what, I, what else I was sewing this week. I decided I was playing around with my embroidery machine. And I was like, I just want to make something fun and different. So I made just a real basic bag. Except for I made this cute little embroidery. And this is just a machine embroidery. And I thought he was so cute. And I was just having fun. And then I took some rickrack and a little made a little bow too. And a little, you know sparkly guy and I don't know he was just cute and fun so putting that pattern in that bag for now or not because it's crinkly okay then another one that jumped in my cart from that website was because it was like I don't know seven dollars or something um I actually don't know what this is called it's in another language oh winter cottage it's called winter cottage because I do love winter scenes. And it was on sale enough that I was like, that looks like fun. Also, I have barely started this one. Just barely, but that other one was um, annoying me with the color changes. And I was like, maybe this will be fun for Switch. So I started in the middle somewhere. I'm like on a window or something. I did not get very far on this one either. Again, this one is small too, so it's not too big. Just started in the middle. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I need a bag for this one because it's still just in the crinkly plastic wrapper that it came in. Okay, those are all my new starts and the projects I worked on. Now let me finish show you the rest of the haul from Cross Stitch Boutique where they were all half off. They, I think they still have stuff half off. And they I think they had like Mirabilia's and Nora Corbett and they had some other ones too. So you might want to go check out Cross Stitch Boutique. But a lot of them were sold out. So I don't know. Anyways, these jumped in my cart while I was buying the other ones. This one is called Winter Holiday. And we're almost done here. Again, it was like $6 or something on sale. And I just thought it was so cute that I decided to get it. This is a... Butterfly, Swallowtail, my kids love to chase Swallowtails. The color's getting all, all funky on this camera, but um, that 
Mm, it's pretty. Now, here we get into me deciding. Oh, I think florals and stuff. Well, I think I like that. This one, not so much, but the last two, definitely. This is called Blue Tits and Cherry. Just thought that was cute. I really like birds, too. This one is Peonies and Hydrangeas. I don't know if or when I'll start this one because it's gigantic and I can imagine it has a ton of color changes. But it was like majorly on sale and um, I really liked it. And so I decided, well, I better. And the last one from there is called Bouquet with Peonies. And I liked that one too. I think I like peonies apparently recently. Um, yeah. So I don't normally like flowers, but I do like these. And they were majorly on sale, like I said, which is how I ended up with a giant stack of new patterns kits. And the last thing, I have two more things to show you. This one, I don't know if this is still up there. I, this must have been like a giveaway free pattern, maybe for the group. For, this is for the cross stitch studio but um, I'm not sure how I ended up with it but I was going through files on my computer and I stumbled on this file and I was like oh well, I forgot I had that like when did I download that so somehow I have a pattern called snow bunnies from the cross stitch studio and I saw it and I was like well that is so cute I mean why don't I work on that so I printed it out so I wouldn't lose it again um, like I said, I don't know, like she has a uh, Facebook group, so I don't know if it was a freebie on that group, or maybe it's just a freebie on her website, and anyway, I don't know, I don't think I bought this one, but it had to have been a freebie from somewhere, so it might still be a freebie, but it was super cute, so I found that pattern and printed it off so I wouldn't lose it, and then my last thing that I got was from Prime Day, and I bet other people got this on Prime Day too. But I've had this in my cart and I've gone back and forth for probably two years on whether to get it or not. I love it, but I just never wanted to spend quite as much money on it. But it was on sale, the cheapest I've seen it. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. Dimensions Gold Collection, Alan Maley's, I think it's Maley's, I think that's how you say it. Gracious Era. I'm sure you've seen it a million times. There's a glare, but. I mean, yeah, this, I'm sure everybody has seen this pattern, but it was on sale and I have loved it for a long time, but never pulled the trigger and I just decided, yep, I'm going to do it this time. So, so I got that one. So I started a bunch and I got a bunch. I don't plan on starting all of those, but I have been having stitching. I'm like in a real, I think because it's been so hot, it's been so hot and dry here. We finally just got rain yesterday that I've just been like. I don't care about the garden. I don't care. I just want to sit and stitch. So I got quite a bit of stitching done and I've been in a really stitchy mood. So anyway, that's all I have to share for you today. And um, I'm really glad you were here. If you're new, thanks for coming by. If you're new and you liked what you saw, subscribe. And until next time, thanks guys and I'll see you later.